I, I imagine it's, you know, uh, just, you know, uh, better than sex. <laughs> I'm Harry Whittington and I'm the trainer of St Calvados. I know it is, it's, it's amazing really isn't it? It is a bit frightening um, you know where we've got to in such a short space of time but he seems to have been able to come through those races uh, very well. Um, from Andrew Brooks's point of view the Arco has been in his mind um, since before he ran. He sort of said to me you know the, Ar the Arco is the target work back from that so it's, uh, it's amazing really. When, when he arrived at the yards were you aware that you had horse that would end up being a, a, a six or five to one shot for the Arkle in, uh, in mid-February? Well I guess you know you couldn't imagine that you'd be that short for an Arkle. He is talented we've always known that. If you're looking at the, the you know the winning distances of St Calvados so far nine lengths, ten lengths and 22 lengths I mean he, he does it pretty well. He's one on soft and, and heavy uh, any ground concern? You know he, he, he seems to handle obviously he handles that ground very well he's by son de son and generally they they love soft ground there's no doubt about it. This arco does it like being a, a classic renewal of the prestigious race with Willie Mullins' foot pad you've got Petit Mouchoir Sir Royale not far behind. Unbelievable race really isn't yeah. it I mean if you look at it you just bring those three horses into it you know just you know it could be the race of the festival couldn't it you know I just hope that you know he turns up he's competitive and you know he comes through it in one piece. I mean, how important is it for someone, you know, for this operation, for your yard, for your training career, to have a horse like him? Absolutely, you know, huge, you know, in, in, in every aspect for the, you know, for the team, it's huge. Like, like from where we've come in the last 12 months as well, like we had a virus this time last year and we shut the yard, you know, and, and, and to come back to where we are now with the season we're having in a horse like St Calvados, you know, it's just a testament to how hard the team has worked. At the end of the day, Cheltenham Festival is the pinnacle of our sport. Every time I go, I just dream of having a winner there and being able to walk in with a horse into that winner's enclosure, you know, it would just be, you know, I, I haven't had the feeling yet, obviously, but um, I, I imagine it's, you know, uh, just, you know, uh, better than sex. I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> My wife's standing behind me.